Yeah, man. So this is how to how to blend two colors um, using two panel lights. So these are newer 6600s. I got these off of Amazon. It was like $120 per light. So it's like $240 for two. So these are the RGB ones, you guys. RGB. Back here again, you guys. We have two lights that we're playing with this time. We have the yellow and we have the pink. We're two lights set up, two lights, yellow and the pink. How to basically mash them together to make them, you know, somewhat good or somewhat like, you know, uh, 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 how, to, how to mesh two lights. I don't really know what kind of tutorials I'm trying to do on this channel, but yeah, this is what it is right now. It's how to mesh two lights. I got them up top, angled downward, and also kind of casting on the background a little bit, like very, very like minute, so that way you can see both the model and the background at the same time. And then I'm also going to use my 8200 right here at an angle um, if you guys watched the last video you'll know that it's three feet forward three feet to the right of your model and yeah walk forward a little bit right there that's good let me see right here hold it it'll be good to have my flash on you know as always just a little bit yeah like a little bit of like a look down yeah yeah there we go hold it there we go hold it there we go um, give me like some like, I want more curvature. So like turn to your side a little bit like this and then turn it towards me. So boom, no, no, yeah, like that. Like boom, right? And now turn your torso towards me, yeah, yeah like that. And I want kind of like, like, yeah, 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 there we go. Hold it, there we go. There we go, yeah, there we go. There we go, hold it. That. So you guys, as you can see, I have my 8200 right here, and the 8200 is at one over 37, one over 32 power right now. I have a lighting, I have my lighting trigger. I use the X Pro S, S for Sony. Um, Sony A7S III is what I'm shooting on right now with with the um, Sigma R24 to 70 lens. And yeah, man, it's it's really cool. I love this lens. It's really fun to use. Um, and then I have a, um, oh, I love this camera in general as well because I use it for photo and video. And yeah, so for my settings, I have it. My shutter is one over 125. My f-stop is 2.8. And then I have my ISO at 80, and I'm changing that between 80 and 100. I never go above 100 because I want to delete as much noise as possible within the image. Hold it. There you go. Hold it. I kind of want more of like a separation. It's so like kind of like spread a little bit. And like I kind of want that same like type of vibe that you had. Like like with the, with the hands and the hair. Like with both both like this. And then I want like, uh, yeah, like that, like that, like that. Yeah, like look through your like arm. Yeah, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Put that left hand down. Leave your right hand up. Yep, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. There you go. Let me show you these real quick. Um, when I show her these, I will also be showing you guys these as well on the camera so you can see what we just did. Um, I'm going to try to start doing that a little bit to make it a little bit easier for me when, I, when it comes to editing because a lot of time I make it hard because I want to shoot and show the photo, shoot, show the photo, but I can't do that all the time. Ooh. Right? Oh, my goodness. I like that stance for some reason. Like It's just like, it's giving like main character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you guys want to try one more color combination because this video is like showing you how to how to mesh two colors blend I'm gonna say blend how to blend two different colors together um, For to get amazing shots within within photo shoot. Oh, no, no, no You have to be there so I could see how it looks on your skin So I'm gonna say we probably do I'm gonna go my favorites you guys I love doing cotton candy so cotton candy is like one of my favorite ones I'll do like a light blue there you go And then I'm gonna also do like a pink on this side but for a cotton candy vibe and this is gonna give like cotton candy like Titanic type like pl platinum type type cotton candy vibes. And yeah, let's see. So let's see how this goes. Let me see. Same type of vibes, yep. And if you want them to be like stronger, if you want the lighting to be stronger, turn off all of your other like extra lights. And then like, you know, Alexa, turn studio lights off. So as you can see, it okay. got darker. So now these lights are gonna be more potent when I shoot. So look right here. Yeah, they're a lot more visible, a lot more potent. Hold it. And when like doing a pose like this, you guys, what you want to do is you want to focus on getting your model above their knees. So when they cross their legs, don't get it below their legs because you're going to get like the, the weird, the awkward separation that's in between their feet. So what you want to do is you want to get right where their knees connect and above so that you get that nice, pretty, like, like hourglass type shape. Um, let me see if I can show you guys a few of the ones that I just did right now. So like, for example, like right here, you want to make sure that you get it right above the knees, not below the knees, get it right above the knees. So that way, right where the hourglass starts and begins. So let's go ahead and do this. I kind of want, that type of vibe again, like how you just like, like holding, holding your sides and like lean into it. Yeah, yeah, like that, like that, like that. Hold it. Three, two, and one. 
Here we go. Three, two, and one. Look that direction. Yep, yeah, hold it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Lean forward a little bit more, like like awkwardly, like forward. Like, yeah, yeah, there you go. Hold it, yeah, let's see. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Bet. Let me show you these. So literally, when meshing the two lights, you guys, it's really just focusing, right? Yeah. It's really just focusing on what do you want. Do you want one light to be on the model's face and one light to be in the background? Do you want both of them on the background? Do you want both of them on the model's face and background? It's however you want to spread it. For me personally, Alexa, turn studio lights on. Okay. For me personally, what it is, is I like to have one up a little bit higher than the other one. So this one's gonna be kind of casting onto the model's actual skin, my left one, and my right one is casting more so onto the background. So I have it kind of, I have both of them angled a little bit at the same height, but one goes to the background and one's going more to the model's face. So that one cast on her, you can see that color a lot more. As you guys will see as I put on the screen. Um, and yeah, man, so this is how to, how to blend two colors um, using two panel lights. So these are newer 6600s. I got these off of Amazon. It was like $120 per light, so it's like 240 for two so these are the rgb ones you guys rgb and they don't have that much like le uh, looms and stuff like that but i'm gonna get some that are more powerful there's a lot more expensive like as you guys know but we got the other lights in here as well i got um 80 i got i got sl 60 w's that i'm using this one fell today actually which is pretty fucking funny but had to fix that and then yeah we got another newer light back here but you got a lot of stuff just like lighting up the scenery as well and yeah if you guys want i'll also do a tour of the studio i just kind of like did it up and stuff like that i still have to paint it paint it black and things of that nature I'm not done with it yet fully but yeah let me know if you guys want to see it and let me know if you guys want to see more of tori how was how was the shoot today it was great amazing as always as always as usual you know what i'm saying per usual so that's t-o-r-i-1 l-y-n-n-1 whole lot of gas you guys i'll put it above her head as well as down below in the description it was one of those nights you guys it's like 4 a.m in the morning currently and we, we we had to come and do this this content for you guys you know what i mean like we we're getting it out here for you guys. We're doing it for you guys. We're up late. It's late nights. It's, it's early mornings. Whatever you want to call that, bro. Because this is the only time that she was available. You know what I mean? She's a hairstylist, so she works a lot. So this is the only time that she had available. And I, ha I had to get up. You know what I mean? I had to get up and I had to do it. So I just want to say, with that being said, I really do appreciate you. I appreciate you. And love you guys. Let me know if you guys want to see more of this type of content. Because I'm very confused. And you guys help me when you answer questions. So, I'm out. Taxi! Sleep with the door closed, home back tears, no I'm strong, but I'm gon' fold. Yeah. I was so broke, asking granny for a dub, made my throat sore. Depression had me living sad. I had no hope. My only options working on the five ski up a kid doors. But I'm so grateful for this life that I live. I'm so grateful for my life that I kill for it.